just wanted to tell you guys a little bit briefly about this Cerebro GX and how this works. This is awesome. So it's really a monitoring center for your system. Everything plugs into this that's compatible with it. So what have I got right now? I've got this 500 amp shunt that is connected to it. Forgive these connections. This is all being redone today. The, the inverter is on the way. This is all just temporary. Um, the, through these cables here. And also, here's a Victron MPPT charge controller. It's in float already. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. And that is communicating with it also. So this is telling me basically all the information that's coming in from this invert from this charge controller. Also the information that's coming from this battery shunt and monitor, which I can get from their individual Bluetooth applications from Victron Connect. We're not gonna talk about that today because what I wanna show you is the benefit of this guy. He also talks via Bluetooth to Victron Connect but he right now is connected Wi-Fi, which is what this little green light is indicating. And he is connected right now to the internet. These guys do not do that. Okay, that's the difference. This one connects to the internet. So these, you can only see what's going on with them on the Bluetooth app, and you have to be in Bluetooth range. This guy here, I can do that at about, well, 40, 50 feet. This one, you gotta be very close to it to get that out, to connect, maybe 20 feet. And uh, same with this guy. This is the most powerful on the Bluetooth end, and um, these two have that. But this guy, when he connects to the internet, gives you a view that I'm gonna show you now that I've never seen it really explained uh, in any of the Victrom videos that I've seen. So I wanna show you today what you can do with this. Okay, this is what we're seeing now. What you have to do is create a VRM account uh, on the Victron website, VRM, and you're going to tell it what you have installed in your home, what's in your network. VRM videos are adequate. They do a good job explaining how to set that up, and you can look at that and see how that's done. So this is a view that VRM gives you as a default of your system. I don't have the inverter here yet, so there's nothing going. Uh, this would be the inverter loads coming in from shore power or coming in from the generator, and then what your, your AC loads are going out. I won't be able to measure that because the, the, the inverter I've got is a GNDEL, but I will show it here in the DC power that's going out. It'll be converted power, but it will show up here. It's showing me from that uh, controller, the MPPT controller, how many watts are coming in, 160. That's just one panel. And my battery state of charge from the battery monitor that I showed you is 100%. And those batteries, they're, they're two 140 amp hour AGMs. They hit their 100% capacity. Um, at around 9 o'clock in the morning, 9.30, from that panel, after running this little fridge all night long. So, what else can you see on this? This is the view here, and this is updated every 15 minutes. You can control that. See, it's telling me that this came in 10 minutes ago. So, this is a snapshot view from a period in time as to what happened with that system or what's been feeding. The advanced view is amazing. So here, what I can see now, you can pick whichever one of these you want to have show up on your default view, but it's showing me solar charger. What are the watts and amps, volts and amps coming in? It's showing me the PV yield in watts. It's showing me what's going on with my battery. You can move these around to where you'd like them, uh, whichever view you want. But this is over a 24 hour period. Let's just make sure. 24 hours, you can, you can select how long you want it to be, Do it down to 12 hours. Let's take a look at what's going on and you'll see the graphs change. So over the last 12 hours, here's where we were. There was no solar coming in, as we see here overnight. So the batteries are just diminishing. And then now we see uh, when the sun came up this morning, at what time, just hover over it. And right now we can see that at 8.51, it began to charge 12.66 volts were coming in, 1.3 amps. And as I scroll over it, it's going to give me a different view on those. Sorry if I move this a little bit. Okay, so you can change your views here. And this you get, as I was explaining before with the Bluetooth limitations, I can get this anywhere. As long as that servo is able to connect to the internet and I can connect to the internet, it's updating my VRM account and I have this visibility literally anywhere. And you can just see how much you can, information is here. So many 
different graphs, different charts. Here's my MPP state. So right here, it was off all night long, no sun. Then it came in, immediately started bulk charging. We've already gone to absorption, and pretty soon it's gonna start floating again once the batteries are totally full. And this information is all here for you. But this is a snapshot in time, right? So every 15 minutes, the uh, servo is gonna go out and update the VRM account with this info. But there's another view here. And this is if you had bought that GX, I'm saying you don't need to, because if you click on remote console, what we're gonna see is the same view as if you had one of those GX devices, except this panel, this view right here, you have three different views of this. I'll show you all three in a second. So these are my gauges. That's another big benefit of that servo. I can plug in uh, fuel, water, water, gray wet, whatever I wanted to put in. There are tank monitors built into the servo. Uh, down here, it's showing me and my limitations I might have had on my inverter, which we'll set that all up this afternoon. But right here, we are uh, 1046, there are no alarms. We're, our battery's at 100%. We're charging at 79 watts. And that's be with 82 watts coming in because three watts are going out. You see that? So 79 watts charging, 80 watts total coming in, 82 coming in, and, and one watt going out. So, and the batteries are currently right now at 14.1 volts with 5.5 amps. It's a fantastic system. And this, this is my computer, but of course, this is available. I'll show, I could show you my phone too, but let's get out of this view. There's a relationship between this view. Whatever of these views you were looking at last is what will appear on your computer. And I'm going to, let's click this down or take this out and let's bring it up over here. So this is the same view. I'm going to hit remote console on my iPad and it's loading. Let's just get it. We can see it. Okay. Same basic thing. iPad's connected to the internet and this is the power. You, you can take this with you anywhere. Now here's another view. Just slide this, swipe it sideways. Oh, picky at times. Let's do it again. Okay, here's another view. A very simplistic view. I'm not really all that fond of this one. And if we swipe it again, you're going to get another look. Patient here. Let's see. Come on. All right. And here's another view where it's, it's basically the same information. We've got 79 watts coming in from the solar charger. It's running through, going into the servos kind of here in the middle. It's uh, the batteries are at 100, 100% and we're using three watts. So now if I come back into the computer and you remember what the view looked like here just a second ago, if I connect to the remote console here, you can see that it has now changed to what we were looking at on the iPad. So whatever you've left it at, whatever device you connect with, you're gonna get this view. Absolutely fantastic. And now this is real time. So even though the VRM behind the scenes is getting, this is a real time feed from your devices as to what is going on right now. Absolutely fantastic view. You can change it to, and this is also available in my phone. Exactly here. So this is what we did on the iPad. You're gonna start out like this. And when you click on it to bring up the remote console here, if you do that in your telephone, it's going to ask you to twist your phone sideways so that this whole panel will fit into your phone view. And this is a great tool. That servo is worth its weight. And now you know how to use it because I've not seen anybody explain this. But this is the benefit.